Good job, Pete. He's the best intern we've ever had, Joey. And the only one who's not left our show. Yet. He it's brought... still time. <laughs> oh, good. Get this guy around. <laughs> Prince Pizza, he gets me my coffee whenever he's, I need uh... it. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's a keeper. Mm-hmm. He's, a, he's, he's someone you let the parents meet. I know what I'm doing. I actually <laughs> wanted to bring up, that was one of the things that Christian and I were dying laughing listening to the Exploded guys uh, oh. it, talking about our show. Or they that, bring up I, Joey, again. actually, I was I was with him, and when they first replied to I, I played the audio. When they first yeah. had the problem with us after they we, they thought we were just all over the place. And what were you saying with uh, well, Chris? Well, so, well, they brought it, Pete up again because they were saying again, well, Rob, Rob is like the main guy. Slim's like the engineer. Yeah. And, and the one guy's like, yeah, and Pete's like, I don't know what Pete does. And the one guy goes, that's the Slambo. <laughs> I did see that. I did like that. Yes. Don't get it. Yeah, don't, don't get, get it, it twisted. Up. Right? He's the Slambo. <laughs> Joey, you're a musician? Uh, so I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Tom's River? Yep. Yeah, Tom's River. Uh, how, long have you been, much, yeah. how long have you been playing for? Oh, man, too long. Well, not long enough. Uh, it's been about 10 years now. I started playing in 2004. That's when I picked up the first guitar. Well, actually, this guitar is the first guitar. I haven't had a... Uh, That's your first? Yeah. Wow. I was going to ask how many you own. Like, do you have, like, a bunch or... Well, it's, there's one we call her Shawnee. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you about that a little later. Um, and then, you know, I just have a little Gibson Les Paul at home. Cool. Her name's Those Samantha. Are nice. They are. That's, <laughs> how, they uh, are. You got names? <laughs> how, how old were you when you picked up your first guitar? Uh, 15, I want to say. 15. Nice. Wow. Are you self-taught or did you have lessons? Uh, first three months were lessons, and then everything after that was just self-taught. Wow. Do you think that's, like, the best way to go? Because, like, just as long as you get the basics from those lessons from there, you don't really need any more lessons? Or I would say so. You yeah. know, just mm-hmm. get a guy who's, you know, willing to teach you that this is a guitar in your hand. Right. Did you, you know, learn, like, the, the basics. notes, or did yeah. you learn, like, tab? Uh, tabs, like, pretty much. Because I learned how yeah. to read music, and then, like, I didn't play for a long time, and I just forgot it. Like, yeah. years later, yeah. I picked it I up, s- and I'm like, I don't. I, I started I still doing bass. Do tab. I started doing bass back a few years ago, but I had lost all my shit in the flood, except oh, for the bass right. itself. But I, I lost, you know, the amp and everything. Yeah. I just uh. put it, I never went back for lessons. I was kind of like, I just, I just like a big defeated. <laughs> my buddy Doug, his son, he wanted it. He wanted to get a guitar for him. Like, I got one if you want. Like, I think it was an Epiphone Les Paul okay. model, and I was like, yeah. I do like the bass, Take though. It. It's, I want to kind of do that again. That's what I was going to ask, Joe. We do play any other instruments, or is it just guitar? No, it's uh, drums. I know wow. a little bit of bass. I, mm. I really, really want to learn the sitar. That, that's that a, will be a that's, fun that's instrument. That's a cool instrument. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. I actually like that classical Indian music, that the, the sitar stuff. Yeah, some of that stuff mm. is crazy. Oh yeah, I have a playlist dedicated to that. You know, I just do my morning <laughs> yoga. Nice. <laughs> Slim does P ninety X. I do. I do P ninety X. I'm on my second month, <laughs> the second week. I've done a lot of yoga the past month. You have. You do I've that done too? a lot of yoga. Yeah. What is hot, ex- I heard hot ex- yoga, and is that just where you turn the heat up? <laughs> like what's hot yoga like, hot yoga yeah <laughs> like, i really think it's like you just turned it up to i have no clue dude. what so hot like, it's like a next level yeah there's all no kinds of yoga, hot it's yoga like, it's like step yoga. Dude, the, the p90x dude. yoga is extreme like a lot of people are like ah yoga that's gonna do nothing no you sweat your fucking ass off doing like the p90x <laughs> well yoga. i saw what is it too uh the diamond dallas page yeah the diamond, diamond dallas his, his page. cousin does yeah, that yeah right what the ryan diamond does diamond the dallas page yeah. But he's supposedly oh, helped, God. like, what, like, almost crippled, like, veterans yeah. walk again? Like, yeah. he's, like, amazing. I, I saw uh, a video years ago that he did. So Yoga is good, man. It, it feels you great. And you can do uh, No, I just do it naked, and I oh. wait for him to, like, come oh, out. Oh, like, God, I don't want to be here <laughs> Come out, and I puke. <laughs> he comes out, and he tickles my balls out. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I go to work. While, while, yeah. while I'm in Warrior 1. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Some say that is the way to go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like doing doing the no, ah, doing the uh, doing the yoga naked, not like getting your 
balls tickled by <laughs> some guy. <laughs> Not having a ball. Just so we're on the same page. <laughs> oh, all right, I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, do you do a lot of shows, Joey? Because I've seen you post them on Facebook, and it seems like pretty regular, right? Yeah, this is. It's been blowing up recently. That's like, I haven't played this uh, this frequency before. You know, because it's not just uh, Redstone of Faith that I do. I've got a few other projects as well. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. If you had other... Because Redstone of Faith, is that your band or is, is it solo or... Uh, Redstone of Faith, it's like a... I'm trying to do a revolving door kind of thing with it. You know, people can just jump in and out as they please. Uh, write some stuff, perform with me live. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, something like that. That's cool. I, I didn't yeah. know. That's why I didn't know if that was your band or if like you just perform like solo all the time. You are yeah. the the core member of that band, but the, everything else like switches up. Exactly. Switches. That's cool. Yeah, I'm the core, but all are welcome if cool, you feel nice. up to it. <laughs> hey, he'll do some stuff with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know if you want his kind of stuff though. <laughs> now, yeah, what do you play? Yeah. Ace beat? I, I, or do you, you do not play it anymore? I like, used well. I used to be in a band years ago. I, I I was on a crappy metal band. I would like I was the vocalist for that, but uh, you know, I just didn't work out. Didn't work out. I I just got you know we all got frustrated with the music scene. And I remember uh, my other buddy Pete too said he it was hard to find people that would. Yeah, that's you know, another thing. We could never or... we could never find a bassist, and it just. You know, you they are tough to find. Don't have a bassist, especially along these lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now do you do do you play originals out here or uh, covers uh it's like 90 percent originals okay cool but you know i throw in a few covers here and there just a uh, lot of the, yeah. like bars and stuff around like in jersey especially seem to only want covers especially in yeah. this town like i don't know have you ever played any yeah, of the man. venues in this town i uh, no, because i don't know any jimmy buffett <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what and then is. there's yeah. the firehouse scene that it's all just That's screamo. A, like my that made me think of it when you said you were yeah. in the band. That the, you band said the band, the band I was in, we were the only non-screamo <clears throat> band there. We were. I, I'm not even joking. Like it's <laughs> BFW hopping. <laughs> <laughs> but at the venues you Columbus. you play, the crowds are receptive to the originals. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. That's, That's cool. Awesome. You know, I hear it all the time. Wow, Joey. Like, I saw you. I saw you, but then you got up on stage. I did not expect that voice at all. Wow. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask, too. Have you had vocal lessons? No. Wow. I, I, the, just one coach, really, the stereo. Yeah. Well, wow. you, don't, you don't need, like... You can just do it in your car. That's that's how I figured out how to do it. But that's, uh, like, when you figure out you're good, like... If when people, t some, when more than like two people that are <laughs> close to say. you tell outside you outside of the yeah. family, yeah, because I know <laughs> I stink, yeah, and I'm pretty sure Slim stinks. Yeah, like, uh, no, oh no, no I'm great. <laughs> I've I've been called a classic on several times. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no homo, but you sound you sound delicious just on the mic. So. Yeah, he's oh man. <laughs> 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 well, I definitely have to go back and listen to this then. Yeah, you do. You sound oh, yeah. better than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, dude, you are you are the, like a rock star. Like your look, mm -hmm. the way you dress, just yeah, your attitude, man. You Thank definitely you. got that, man. And I'm like, I'm hoping you blow up, man. Who were who were some of your influences? Like, well, you know, the Beatles, of course. Oh yeah, they're but. Good. That's kind of like a cop out, and yeah, everyone loves yeah, the Beatles, yeah, yeah. you know. So moving on to that, really love Stone Temple Pilots. They're, yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, they were, they were a huge influence when I first started doing this. You know, from the chords I play to the <clears throat> vocals, they they were a big component. Uh, there's also you know Lenny Kravitz, yeah, uh, Crush Forty. They do the music for those Sonic the Hedgehog video games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so those guys, uh, St. Vincent, she's great. Wonderful, wonderful act. Cool. Um, what did you grow up listening to? Lots and lots of uh, hip-hop and R&B. When yeah, did you go get into the rock and all? Uh, it was during high school, you know, like coming out of middle school, because they say that's around the time you start to develop, develop. your own musical yes. identity, you yep. know? Yep. So that's when you start going out there and you just, like, pick up... Well, I I went the way of the soundtrack. 
you know, like movie soundtracks, TV yeah, soundtracks, yeah, yeah. video game soundtracks, they all have like this collection of different artists. And so oh, it's yeah. like a, it's like a sampling. So you pick them up, you know, hear what you like, and then you just kind of follow along their paths. Nice. Yeah, nice. That's the way I went. Yeah. I went the other way. Like, was, well, hip hop was just new when I was in like, I guess middle school. So yeah, I grew up listening to like the doors and and all that. And then yeah, rock kind of just died. Like yeah, like after and then, uh, after Cobain pulled the trigger. Yeah, it just kinda was like, I mean, I mean, you had a couple of good bands afterwards, still, but it just went. Yes, there's still a few, but yeah, for the most part. And then hip hop got great uh, around like Wu Tang and all that, and then that kind of died. And it's like now we have nothing. But I think in this day and age, you just gotta know where to look. Yeah, yeah you know? that's that's definitely what it that's is. It's like, definitely I'm, not most like, of it's underground. handed to you. Yeah, I I found this band from Slim called Clutch. I absolutely Clutch. love Clutch. Clutch is great, great band. Yeah. Yep. Seen them twice. We. They're great too because each album they release has like a whole different feel to it. Yeah, like you and Christian have like told a different me that. Genre, yeah. I actually found out about good. them because they featured uh, the Regulator. On an yeah. episode of The Walking Dead. Yep. Nice. Great usage. I think uh, Ghost, I think that was the name of the song. The, oh, the, I forget what it is, the full song, but that was on Walking Dead too. Something Ghost, I don't know why I can't remember the name of the song. Oh, yeah. But I do remember, like, uh, there was a friend of mine who was bringing it into the place that I work, and I remember, like, looking up and be like, oh, that's Clutch. <laughs> that's that's really cool. Guild of Mute Assassins. I found the body of John Wilkes Booth. Yeah, and I think um, they also, songs. for uh, that game Left for Dead, they had a song for oh, that. Yes. Yes. that. Yeah. Electric yeah. Worry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Electric mm. worry. Nice. It's very, it brings back the old, like, blues from, like, back in the 30s. Wow. He's got a great voice for it, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's oh, got like, a spectrum them, thing going on. Have you ever on. seen them live? No. I've seen them live several times. It's amazing. That guy has so much energy, man. Like, he's just great on stage. That's like, what it's all about. He's fucking awesome. He's one of those guys where you go see it and you're just, like, you know, you feel energized. Like, you feel inspired afterwards. Like, it's... It's awesome, because he's really into it. Like, he's moving and grooving, and it's fucking great. Good. Did I just say moving and grooving? Yeah, you did. <laughs> and I, I, I think you should kind of be on that other show now. It's <laughs> show. You sound like a morning tax. <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, I, I poured us shots of cold cock whiskey. They are our... Cold, and it's cocky. They were uh, our... Uh, yeah, supposed to be our Cheers. sponsor or something? But they never sent us anything, so I don't know yet. But it's still good. They're still really good. Whether or not they sponsor us, they're still really good. It's very smooth. I. That is smooth. I wow. wish. Wow. It's almost, right? It's dangerous. <laughs> how good it is and how smooth it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's infused with like herb, herbs. Herbs. Stuff, yeah. Right? It's like, a herbal whiskey. Okay. What they call. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm not. I'm, I never really drank whiskey. And it, it's. It has like a combination, oh. like you can taste the whiskey in it, but you can also like the herbs. I went to this place herbs up in well. Asbury the other day, and they had like uh, smoked bourbon, where they'll pour you, they burn like a a piece of wood from like an oak cast that had bourbon in it. Yeah. And they get the smoke all up in the glass, and then they pour the bourbon shots into the glass, and then you put a block over it, you let the smoke kind of like settle into the bourbon but i swear to god it gives it like an amazing taste really like it's oh, like... that sounds amazing wow i like what's written on the back here <laughs> just the first sentence i'm sold on uh, <laughs> we believe life is about sharing your soul with the people who care to listen not selling it to whomever will buy it hell yeah yes mm. yes something that a really... lot of people don't seem to uh get <laughs> mm. <laughs> i don't get that I'm just like anybody. anybody I'm, selling. <laughs> I'm a sellout. I just want to sell out and be like... Yeah, okay, I'll probably write their way. <laughs> be like Elvis at the end. Yeah. Just... <laughs> oh, no, that is, that is amazing. I, I do I like that. It's a cool company. The guy started on his own, right? Like, Yeah, just one guy started making whiskey and I yeah, started up. It's Most amazing. Most of those like... Like, Ind independent breweries and distilleries and stuff. Yeah. It's amazing, like, the pure ingenuity that just goes into making any kind of alcohol, you know? It's like... Yeah. That is... There's one place in Tom's River that always carries that. Because you can go on their website and see, like, where where you can buy it. And, yeah, there's one in Tom's River that always stocks it. I, I forget the liquor store, but... And you, <laughs> okay. You can yeah. really tell the difference from a company that's just, like... 
what can we sell to you know kids that shouldn't be buying alcohol versus <laughs> what can we sell to people who Fireball. actually enjoy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so what what can we sell to people who actually enjoy? real mm. alcohol or the art of alcohol it's like you don't want to drink like, fireball but no. the, the the girls that are in the at the yeah. party they're like oh let's all do fireball, fireball. <laughs> it's called whiskey like, okay. but it's not it's <laughs> all right we're gonna all right just this once we'll do, twice <laughs> we'll I'm, do fireball I'm guilty. we're not gonna like it but we'll do it <laughs> i'm guilty of doing fireball <laughs> i've never done it what is it cinnamon it's cinnamon it whiskey sounds, it tastes like, like somebody disgusting. took like cheap bourbon and just don't like big red gum. Like, yeah. Slip the <laughs> song, like, or those, those it, the it, it does kind of taste like those little red candies that I think were called fireballs, right? I think they that's atomic fireballs. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's supposed to taste it's like. just get pissed off. I'm like, give me lemon heads, bitch. Fuck like, those fucking things. <laughs> Joey, how many tracks have you recorded? Uh, let's see. There's, there's three. On my recent release, the Shawnee Shawnee EP, uh, you can get that on redstoneoffaith.bandcamp.com. Three tracks for free. Can't beat that. No. Awesome. No, not at all. And that's the name of your guitar? Uh, Shawnee? Yes, Shawnee. Named after Shawnee Smith. She played Amanda Young in the Saw movies, if anyone's familiar with that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen okay. a few of them. I, I don't know. I seen like the first one. I really liked the first one. I but didn't I like the didn't. first one. Mm. I didn't feel like that guy had any reason to kill. Like, what did he just have cancer? And he wanted to make. I think they go. I, 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 I think like, they go deeper into it later on. Yeah. I, think. I don't really know. I haven't watched too many. And of one of the other ones, maybe the third one, I liked. I never saw the second one. So when did you start naming your guitars and why? Uh, well, I think I named her right after I. Uh, well, actually, no. Actually, story time. All right. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> So uh, in 2008, that's when I first named her because there was this convention in New York, Saw Mania, for the Saw movies. In case you guys can tell, yeah. I'm a huge <laughs> fan of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, so she was there, one of the many stars, autographing and taking pictures with everyone. And I brought my guitar because she actually has a band. It's like a desert country rock project with another actress, Missy Pyle. And... You know, I brought the guitar, she signed it, and she asked me to play some stuff for her. So at this point, I'm like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, <that was> awesome. <laughs> and, and I'm still kind of new to this whole thing at the time, you know, just like playing in public. Yeah. So, you know, it's, that's like extra nerves. Scary. Yeah. It is scary, yeah. man. I, I it's used too to, scary. I used to just drink my ass off. <laughs> I go on stage. <laughs> That's no I different than now. I <laughs> wish exactly. I could have. <laughs> you know, like we were um we were at the we're at BLVD slash Crash Mansion. So you know there was a bar, but I was a little underage at the time. Yeah. So <laughs> so I just had to power through it. So you just so started playing for. Her? Pretty much, I played for her, and mm. then of course she wanted to play some stuff too. Wow. Uh, she played some stuff from her band, and then I think she covered a Garth Brooks song, and so. Out of nowhere, people just started congregating, just circling us, and we were just taking turns on this thing, and it was wild. Wow! It's like, oh. like I, that's wow. I that I is pretty cool. paid. How much did I pay for that? Whew. I think the event, like one day, was like you know, sixty, seventy, or something like that. But oh man, yeah, I got that's, so that's, much that's more out of that. Yeah. Just that you know? exposure yeah. and just that absolutely. You love those movies and you got to do that. Like that's really cool. You dude. know, just the fact that you're in that room with a whole bunch of people who are, and, you know, of the same. Uh, lost words. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, they, they they appreciate. They appreciate the movie just as much as you do. Yeah. You know, like yeah, we're yeah, sharing yeah, the same like, love. Like-minded people. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, and I actually met another, like, two members from another project I have at that event. Yeah, oh, wow. That, wow. Uh, this one. You got a lot out of that one event. That's, that's awesome. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's great. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was crazy. Mm. Uh, but that project's called Winter Day. It's like a spoken word acoustic poetry kind of thing. And we actually have, I think the second album is on Bandcamp, and that's got like 12 tracks on it. So Ooh, that's what I was gonna ask yeah. you because I noticed on Twitter you're Joey Winter Day, and but then I know you as Joey Taylor. Like I didn't know if you performed as different 
names or if it was just one name you performed as and I wasn't sure. I was totally going to ask you that. Yeah, it kind of fluctuates. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it just really depends on like whose songs I'm performing at the time. Wow. Uh, sorry, like uh, like Posse Galore. That's another project. Uh, that's a. Um, is that any way like was that name any way inspired by like from James Bond? Oh, 110 <laughs> <laughs> percent. Pussy Galore. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Huh? Now Posse. what oh, that yeah. is, it's like a, it's like a alternative fusion hip hop kind of thing going on and i play guitar for that cool that sounds really cool yeah we recently put out uh an album as you know chris rockwell presents rockwell rebel radio and we just pulled all these talented musicians and artists together and we just created these ah oh, these wonderful melodies these fantastic songs and these guys are you know chris rockwell and New Star, Andre Velasquez, they're just so wild with their rhymes and everything. It's I've never heard anything like this. You know, they they hearken it back to you know, the real nitty gritty uh ghetto blaster hip hop and rap. Yeah, it's something you guys should definitely check out. Uh, yes, that's uh that is cool. absolutely want to. That's also on Bandcamp. Cool. Yeah, I think it I wanna say the exact link is a uh, Chris Rockwell dot bandcamp dot com that's where you can get rockwell Weber radio c h r i s yep okay writing that down right now you want to take a yeah. quick five minute break and then we'll come back and uh you can play some songs for us yes yeah, i would love to play some songs for you i would love to hear some. oh yeah awesome all right so let's do it slambo what's up you should en entertain the folks at home no, you shouldn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're going to be doing all, all summer. Matt, yeah. I, I talked to Matt Connerton already, and he said, look. Uh, oh, you did? If you guys don't have somebody doing something for four hours, oh, every Wednesday, we're going to take you off spot? the station. So okay. I said, all right, Slambo's going to do Slambo's it. Slambo's going to do four so, hours. Four hours you well, have to do. A beard combing. <laughs> He's just going to have the yeah. beard combing show. Beard right. combing. Beard combing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just thinking about doing that Slambo hit. Hate you blog. That's, that's a, that would be yeah, a great segment a great of show. your Slamborghinis, Slam Time, Slambery. Uh, who is it? Roel. Um, oh, what's his last name? From uh, Roel San Santos, Santos, right? Yeah, he just messaged me. I, I think it was last night. He's like, oh my God, dude. Because I guess he saw an older clip. He's like, you look so different without facial hair. Wait, wait, who, me? No, no, me. Oh, you. Like, you. yeah, because like, I guess he had seen an old clip and I was like, yeah, Jules said the same thing. Like, because. Those year memory things on Facebook come up, and it was like well, something she shared from a year ago. When I she's like, "Wow, I can't believe it!" And she was with me at the time. Like that's crazy. Oh, that's <laughs> that stuff. Oh man, that that's a hit or miss. Those uh, on Joe, those day, on those day things. Because you know, it's oh like, yeah, yeah, man. on this day, because you're looking back at it, all the stuff that you posted in the past, and you know, sometimes in the back of your head, you're thinking. Shit, was I really this lame? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. What the fuck was I yeah. thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever, like, I've gone to it sometimes and then gone to, like, you know, messages or checked the show page from there and then gone back to, like, the homepage and it's gone. It's like, shit, I wanted to share that, but, like, I couldn't. Like, it's just gone. For some reason, mm. if you don't, I guess, share it from the original. Is it maybe an app you, you need you know, the, and it's the, just advertising an app? The Sam Pepper. No, it, it, you, you get that like the five years ago or the year ago? Type I think thing? so. Yeah. I don't know. The I, Sam I Pepper rape Facebook me part. thing was still uh, amazing. That's, that's, that's a classic. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, uh, what was he, a British prankster. And he, yeah. he was, what was he from? Uh, like a reality show over there. But his pranks. We're just like he was, a, girls he, was a, he was just a YouTube guy. Like, yeah, like, yeah. But he was a real creep, a real jerk. And I, I had a character. Oh, his okay. prank. Yeah, his I, prank was like a fake hand, and he would go around grabbing girls' asses with that. And yeah, call a prank. yeah, I remember that. And was, wow. And so I, I have a character I do named Frankie Two Steaks, and I did a Frankie video where he <laughs> he alleged that <laughs> Sam Pepper raped yeah. him. And it's one of our <laughs> biggest videos, isn't it? Is like it? next to Bill, Belly Porn. Under his video, oh, and a couple of our guest videos yeah it's probably like 
Top five. Top, top ten, yeah, easily. Okay. Like, yeah. here we are, busting our asses, you know, playing shows, doing radio <laughs> shows and everything. You know, like, doing, like, legitimate yeah. Yeah. art stuff. And then, and this... you know, they, we get nothing. But then this guy comes this... along. Yeah. Uh, I got a mannequin's arm. Like, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. That's, I think, like, every one of his videos is something along those lines like it's I, nothing and he's such, talking about stuff like that i still can't get over like um we had kevin israel a couple weeks ago and he talked about a uh, vicky potato who got big because he did this youtube video of milk and bread and milk and the, bread the, the dude he's really funny but he had been doing stand-up for 30 years before this video and nobody knew him and then finally you get big on something that's not you doing your stand-up and yeah. i'm like that's gotta be like <laughs> just hit me like fantastic like a just, just, i gotta go just find that fucking around that yeah. face he makes too like when he's done his videos he just looks at the camera like he gives you the stink eye like. <laughs> it's so funny. all right guys we're gonna take a quick break and we will be back 